Uh, Sniper School is a five-week program uh, focusing on 50% uh, marksmanship and 50% field craft. It's uh, trained specially selected soldiers to, you know, advance to the ranks of a sniper if they graduate the course. And when they come back, uh, they're a huge multiplier for their, you know, commander. And uh, they're available, uh, you know, to do either precision long-range fire or the reporting back of battlefield information. Yeah, this is the second week. It's, um, they've already done their, their first record fire with their assigned weapon, and uh, they've already done their target detection and range estimation, so it's, uh, they have a really good base of knowledge, and now we're about to get started with uh, some more field craft of the stocking exercises. These are their ghillie suits. Uh, what they are, they're a base of uh, camouflage. About 30% of their camouflage comes from the ghillie suit. Uh, the other 70% comes from natural vegetation. And a well-trained sniper, as he's moving through an area, his vegetation may change three or four times. Uh, there's an old saying, you know, camouflage ten times, shoot once. So that's kind of what we try to instill in them. Every individual will adjust. It's uh, depending on the terrain, you may have three or four different ghillie suits. You may not use a ghillie suit. Uh, you may use something else. Uh, really, your imagination is uh, the limits for, you know, the type of concealment or, uh, you know, item you know, of, of camouflage you might want to use. Get some pipe cleaners, get some um, rubber bands, get yeah, something. I've got a bunch of tie downs already, I just need to put them on it. Put you some pre, um, go ahead and pre-position the tie downs on there so you can tie the natural veg. You know why? Okay. I always like a long bail, you know why? Um, you know, everyone that comes through is especially uh, selected by their commander. It's uh, whether or not, you know, they're uh, reliable. It's, uh, you want to make sure that their maturity level uh, is definitely high. Uh, you want to make sure they're intelligent. Uh, there's a lot of mathematics and formulas that go into being a sniper. So you have to be sure that they're capable of comprehending all the information that they're given. That kind of thing. A lot of people do that. A lot of people decide to take a D-ring, clip it to their belt, mm -hmm. right? Take a dummy cord to the bag, and when they move, they do the same thing. They move, okay. it's just reach cool. under, right? Pull up. Move, reach under, pull up. They're going to feel like they've accomplished something that very few have accomplished. And once they get back to their unit, uh, this is just the first building block uh, of their time as a sniper. Uh, hopefully they have a good sustainment program and their sections are, are well versed and knowledgeable. And they continue to improve on what they've learned here and become a very valuable tool for their commanders.